Douglas squirrel on the Hirewolf's boardwalk. Normally they're pretty afraid of people, but this guy's probably really hungry, being it's really cold out. On this January 4th, I believe, 2017. Clear skies, but I don't know what the temperature is. I'm sure it's uh, probably in the lower thir to mid 30s. Yesterday was even colder. I'm gonna see how close he'll let me get to him and more take a step or two. I'm pretty close now, about four feet away, five at the most, and he's inching closer to me. I don't know what he's eating for sure. Move down the boardwalk ways. Boardwalk continues. Here's a test video with Janice's camera she gave me. January 4th, 2017, I believe. Walking in higher bros down this uh, boardwalk bridge. See how this does, see if it's uh, labeling, putting a date, time, and uh, locate, GPS location on the actual video or not. That's supposed to at least do it on still pictures. I was hoping it'd do it on video too. Well, we'll see. Beautiful clear day today, but it's real cold. Lower 30s probably. Yesterday was colder. Here's an old fallen tree. It's been like this for years. I can remember there was a bad storm one year that fell several trees, a bunch of trees actually in here. Go around the bend here. Pretty nice here. I have something like this in the middle of civilization. There's at least 10 acres, but probably 20, I think. I gotta look that up again. Been walking here many years. Coming up on this uh, carving somebody did with a chainsaw stump. Looks like two pieces but it's all one piece. Looks like a mushroom. And over here is a uh, little uh, viewpoint rest area where there's a huge big old cedar or uh, Sitka spruce back in here. Here's the sign telling about it. Description. And there she is right back here. It's pretty tall. Still alive. Uh, Top is out of sight up there. Came to an intersection here. To the left is Brook Lake. And I'm going over there. Coming up on this old bridge segment that's uh, been here a 
lot longer than this newer section. It's the last remains of the old boardwalk before they replaced it. It's going across to a particularly wet area. Usually flooded, except in real dry summer. But there'd still be a trickle coming through, even then. So this old bridge is actually... The footings are actually resting on the old tires and platform. Continue down this old boardwalk. <clears throat> Camera froze up on that last video at the end. I don't know what happened. Second time it's done that. Maybe it's too cold for it. Okay, here comes the end of the, uh, this water's a bit frozen down here, completely frozen, frozen on this side too. Coming to the end of the platform in Brooklyn. Looking into the sun though, so there's a glare. <clears throat> it's a small lake. Okay, I'm gonna go back across the ridge here, uh, out of the, away from the sun. Maybe there won't be as so much glare this time. Maybe I should do this in shorter sections because the camera tends to freeze up. Maybe it doesn't long, like long files. Coming back to the previous intersection. This time I'm going straight to continue the main loop. <clears throat> Short route to exit one half mile. I came from the three quarter mile exit way to the right. Finish the loop this way. Just came from Brook Lake Viewpoint. Here's where a couple of trees fell down. Their roots sticking up in the air now. Years ago in a windstorm, probably the same windstorm as the last one we seen. Although there's been several big windstorms that have caused damage since we've lived here. Approaching another, this is the last major storm they had and it uh, tree fell, uprooted the boardwalk here. This used to go right straight ahead here and they've got a dead end and you can see the old boardwalk flipped up in the air by the root ball. It used to go over there and connect. So now they made a bypass around it. <clears throat> this way. Now you can see how they put the build a boardwalk up on generally two tires. So it's kind of floating on peat moss bog. <clears throat> Supports are not down on the ground there on top of these old tires.
trail continues zigzagging down through there towards the entrance. Here's a uh, actual frost, the white stuff is frost, and there's another old friend, Douglas Squirrel, but most likely a different one, but you never know. They like to travel the boardwalks. <laughs> Easier on them, I guess. <clears throat> Looks like the same guy, but you, I'm sure there's a bunch of them in here. Well, several of them, anyway. Not so many anymore, because the uh, non-native uh, gray squirrels have kind of taken over some of their territory. Another uh, set of fallen trees. A couple of them are leaning up in there. Three of them are against other trees. This one came down, they cut it, probably landed on the board one behind me. <clears throat> and there's its root ball. Root ball. Root. I don't know why I call it root ball. It's actually flat like a plate. <laughs> they, their roots don't go very deep, and that's the problem. And they can fall over easy with windstorm. Here's the edge of it. And the underside. And uh, actually there's a flap of uh, original ground that used to be on the flat ground beyond with dirt and moss. But it got flipped up in the air when the tree fell down. Approaching the start of the loop, to the left goes back to towards where we parked and uh, that way is where I started the loop and here's the sign. And we go this way. Short bridge down there over a little creek streamlet. There's that same bridge in the distance the way I came. There's the start of the boardwalk. And we're going back towards the entrance parking area this way. came to this intersection, it goes over to the picnic area, a little orchard with fruit trees, and Mar Lake, like another small lake. Here's a couple big leaf maples. Two of them, actually there's three of them. There's a, one hidden back there behind the left one. They probably don't look too big in this photo, but the base of them are actually pretty big. This is a continuation of the trail, I'm getting real close to the parking. That two-story old cabin you see there is actually was built by Denny of the Denny party that started Seattle and they, it's been moved several times from Seattle and ended up here in hopefully permanent location. They open it every once in a while on weekends to tours. There's the entrance. Uh, 
a little old log cabin here, one of the original homesteaders of Federal Way area. Had a bunch of acreage. It's been moved not too far. And I think their name was the Barker family. It's uh, refurnished and it's got a working stone fireplace, much like they had. It's refurnished with period furnishings inside. It's also open occasionally for visitors. There's the fireplace chimney. Looks like maybe there's been a window 